Good morning. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, classic. That was, that, it is almost one o'clock right now. We are getting a little bit of a later start to this vlog than normal, but we are headed to the gym. And I am today's Thursday, so I am like three quarters of the way through the first week of phase two of my programming and my cut. I'm really excited for that because it'll give us some new training footage as my program is not totally different, but it definitely is a change up from what the original program was. So you guys will see some new exercises, some just, you know, some different variations of things to keep it interesting. So we will see you at the gym if Matt does not kill us before we get there. A couple years I'm gonna get a G-Wagon, you guys will see. A just, wagon Just all matte black, black rims, black. limo tints, it's gonna be sick. All right, on a serious note, not that I wasn't serious about that, but we will see you guys in the gym. What's going on guys? We are back with another voiceover, but instead of talking about the actual movements that I'm doing in the footage that you guys are watching, I figured I would just let that play and you guys could watch it for what it is and I will answer and talk about some things that people have been asking me about rec most recently. So the first thing I want to touch on is the current phase of this program and cut and what's been going on with that. So the number one question I've basically been getting is how many, how much am I training? What is my training like? So I am training five days per week. I am on three days of lower body and two days of upper, upper body. I am doing six days a week of cardio, which I know sounds like a lot, but the five days that I'm in the gym, it's actually really easy to do. I just do it at the end of my session and that is moderate intensity. I just do 15 minutes on the step mill. And then on my off day during the week, which is usually Wednesdays, I do a low intensity session for 20 minutes. And that is again on the step mill. You don't have to do it on the step mill. My coach, Robin, for those of you who don't know if I'm working, that I'm working with her, I am. She prescribed the step mill just because it's a little bit more challenging and does work the lower body a little bit more than regular cardio. So that is what I'm doing for that. My current macros are 125 protein, 45 fat, and 160 grams of carbs per day. I have one refeed day per week, which I, I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I do it on Saturday. Sometimes I do it on Sunday. It actually makes more sense to do it on Saturday since that is one of my more challenging lower body days. Um, sometimes I do it on Sunday just because that's my off day and the last few weeks, Matt and I have had the same off day, so it's just been kind of fun to do it together, but that kind of varies. Things are going good. I'm feeling the best I've felt in a really long time. My weight has, like I said, continuing to drop, and I'm still getting stronger. My lifts are all still going up. I'm hitting PRs, and things are looking good. We are starting to lean out. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you guys have seen I've been posting lots of pictures, so if you want to see more of that, make sure you're following me on there. Everything is linked in the description box below. Oh, the other big question that I have been getting is about competing. And if I'm ever going to compete, have I ever competed? My thoughts on competing, all that stuff. So no, I have never competed. Will I ever? Um, I used to like definitively say no. But as I'm going through this cut and... You know, I'm not that far into it. We're in week six right now, going on to week seven, but I'm feeling really good. I'm seeing results. And, you know, the more progress I make, the more motivated I am to push myself. So it is something I've kind of been thinking about. I don't know for sure. Like, I'm not going to say, like, yes, definitely in the next however many months or weeks I'm going to do it, but it is something I'm kind of thinking about. Um, so if you guys have any tips or advice or thoughts or suggestions on that please let me know in the comments down below if you've competed let me know what your experience was I know people say it gets very political it's you know whatever but I think more so to do it for myself and the experience and that it would be good I've never done it I grew up I was a competitive figure skater so I am familiar with the political side of things and how any any situation you're competing in there's going to be opinions and whatever like people are 
people are always going to have something to say, you know. But I think it's important to just do what you want to do, focus on yourself and your goals and you know, that's about it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this style voiceover. If you did, make sure to leave me a comment down below so that I know for the future. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the video. We will talk to you in the next voiceover. Okay, done with the gym, sweating. Um, we are going to run to the grocery store really quick and pick up a few things and then I think I might go get a spray tan or something because it's getting kind of pale again. And then I'm going to eat something as usual. Yeah, like he said. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm delirious at this point. I'm going to go do those things and I will catch you in a little bit. Carrot, cucumber, golden, delicious, mint, granny, smith, ginger. It's a little. I'm going to try this one. Pretty carrot and gingery. Okay. It smells good. really good. This can get this like nice pop. I love samples. We're in this new grocery store which I don't know how I feel about so far because they don't have the shaved parmesan cheese. They only have like the really ground fine one or like a block. I mean they're not going to get cheese or I'm going to have to do it myself. <laughs> oh my That's god. I'm just going to have to buy the block. The world's over. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I carrying all this? your video. Yeah. And you did offer to be my cameraman for today. That's my job today. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Imagine I fell in the video. I would have caught you. I think I was it smart. would have been good for a viral video though. I should just do Get it. them views. Come on. Come down. They won't know. I'll catch you at the end. We'll set I up like. I actually almost went down too and you said come down. I was like why? Alright. Well anyway. We're here now. I'm about to eat something. I don't know what yet. Um, we're gonna do some work and then maybe go back out later. I don't know. I'm not sure. My body's dead. I'm hungry. I'm tired. And I think we're gonna watch a movie tonight and snuggle. You guys wanna snuggle with us? That's a really good snuggler. Alright, I'm gonna eat now, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna make this salad real quick. So I'll show you what's in it or what's going to be in it. Lettuce, this Parmesan cheese that, like I said, I now am going to have to shave with this guy. Some of these orange and red cherry tomatoes, I guess they are. Chicken, some strawberries on the side, and some Bolt House Ranch. And that is going to be lunch, and then like I said, we have some work to do, and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. Alright, so we are heading to the tanning place now. I'm going to get a quick little spray tan action happening. A little GTL today, right? I actually literally GTL today. Well, I didn't do laundry yet, but I'm going to. Oh. When me and Matt first started dating, when we first met, we used to oh religiously, every Thursday night, we would get out of class and like race home to watch Jersey Shore. It's, it's so actually bad. funny because growing up, we used to go to the Jersey Shore, like me and my family, to Seaside Heights where Jersey Shore was filmed every single summer and honestly it really is so much fun it's so nice I mean after the hurricane and stuff it's probably still a little bit of a mess but super nice lots of fun but anyway I just finished up working on my website a little bit doing some emails and whatnot some stuff with Matt but all right I'm gonna shut up now so we are gonna go do this and I will see you guys in a little bit so we are back, showered, and hungry. We finished up a little bit of work when we got back, and now we are going to eat dinner. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have yet, but I will be sure to show you guys as soon as we're done cooking, and yeah, see you in a few. Okay, dinner is done, so real quick, I will show you guys what we have. So this is a cheeseburger, it just says toasted bun, reduced sugar ketchup, a pickle, 97% fat-free beef hot dog with yellow mustard and just two ounces of asparagus with spray butter and what I put on it, garlic salt. It is 375 calories, 27 carb, 12 fat, and 38 protein. So I'd say that's pretty good. And who doesn't love a cheeseburger? 10 o'clock, you guys already know it's time for us to eat again. So I have, am I allowed to say what this is? 
Yeah. Okay, so I have this mystery flavor of these new Quest bars. This one is the oatmeal chocolate chip. I actually had it last night. It's really good. Matt is having pink stuff. Frozen protein. blueberries, strawberries, all blended up together, protein, and some cereal. So it's like a really big bowl of Froyo, but the healthier version. With lots of protein. So we are watching the end or beginning of Shark Tank right now. I don't know. And then we're going to watch a movie and snuggle. Right? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be filming again tomorrow. So you guys have lots of videos going up this week. And we'll see you then. Bye.